Hello, hope you are doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to make karaoke video with lyrics in Canva. As you can see right here, here's an example of a karaoke video with lyrics. So I'll be showing you how to do that step by step. I will also be showing you where to find the song lyrics that you can use. So the first thing we will need to do is go onto canva.com. If you don't already have an account on Canva, you can create one for completely free. All you will need is your email address. After you have created your account, you are going to select videos. Then you are going to tap on video right here, 1920 by 1080 px and you will be redirected to a new page. And you will be redirected to a blank canvas as you can see right here. Now we are on the blank canvas, we will need to add a background image or video. To do this, you have two options. You can either tap on uploads from the left hand menu option and you could upload your own video or background that you have downloaded from somewhere else. Or you could select elements and you can use one of the copyright free images from Canva. For this example, you could tap on the elements, tap on search elements, and you could type in cloud backgrounds. And we'll be using this image for example sake. So I'll simply drag and place it on the timeline as you can see right there. After you have done that, it is now time to add the introduction text, just like what you saw when I was showing you the example. So you saw the name of the song and you also see the artist's name. Now to do this, all you'll need to do once on Canva, you'll tap on text from the left hand menu option, then tap on add a heading. And the song that we'll be using is Love by Keisha Cole. So you'll type in love. Then you can simply pull along the box to increase the size of the font. So you can do that real quick. So let's do that. And you can also change the font style by tapping right where you see Canva Sans on my screen. So you could tap right there. Then you can select the font style that you would like to use. As you can see, you have numerous options. After you have done that, you can tap on add a subheading. Then from here, you could add in the artist's name. So you can pull down the subheading a bit. Then you'll select the text. And you can add in the artist's name. So let's say, for example, sick. This song is by K. Cole. So we'll do that, as you can see right here. And then you can also change the size of this text also by tapping right where you see 52 on my screen. So let's say we would like it to be 80. And that's how it looks. So now we want this text right here to be animated. Just like what you saw in the example where it appears and disappear. So you can see right there. You can see there it appears and disappear. So I'll be showing you how to do that. To do that, all you'll need to do is simply tap on the text. Then tap on the three dots. Then tap on show timing. After you have tapped on show timing, you can see right there at the moment it appears for five seconds. So you could simply pull along the slider. So let's say we want it to appear for four seconds. And then we want by Keisha Cole to appear for four seconds also. So we'll tap on that and you will simply pull along the slider right there. After you have done that to increase the length of the video, you could simply pull along the slider. So at the moment you can see that it is 30 seconds long. So for example, if I were to carry the cursor back to the front of the video, tap on play you can see that this only appears for four seconds the words and for the words to also have animation or meaning some type of pop or so on you can simply tap on the text then tap on animate after you have tapped on animate let's say for example you would like the words to wipe in as you can see right there you could do that and you can also do that with this option so i could tap right there and you can see it right there. That's how it looks at the moment. Now it's time to add the song lyrics. To add the song lyrics, you may first want to add the song. So for example, you want to add the rhythm of the song. 
So all you'll need to do, you have a few options. Since I don't want a copyright strike, all I will be doing is using copyright free audio. So you have a few options. The first option that you could use, you could go onto YouTube and you could go into YouTube Music Library. To go into YouTube Music Library, the first thing you will need to do is go onto your YouTube channel page. Once on your YouTube channel page, as you can see, I'm currently on my YouTube channel page right here. You would go over to the top right hand corner, tap on your profile pic. Then you're going to select YouTube Studio. Then you'll be redirected to your channel studio page, as you can see right here. There are also other websites you could use. For example, you could use Pixabay or you could use pixels.com so you can use these platforms to find copyright free or better yet royalty free songs or rhythms that you can add but for this example we will be using a song from youtube so you can go into youtube studio go over to the left hand menu option tap on audio library once you have selected audio library you can see the different beats that you could use right here and you can also see their duration as you can see there. And to download it, all you'll need to do is simply tap on download. So let's select download real quick. After you have selected download and it has been downloaded, all you'll need to do now is go back into Canva. Once in Canva, you'll tap on upload files. Then from there, you're going to see the song that you have downloaded, you'll select it and you're going to tap on open. Once you have done that and it has been added, as you can see right here, all you'll need to do now is ensure that your cursor is placed at the front of the timeline. Then you're going to simply drag and add the song to the timeline, as you can see right there. Now that the song has been added, it is now time to add the words of the song. So to add the words of the song, all you'll need to do is simply move the cursor in fact you don't even have to move the cursor you could leave it at the front there then you will tap on text then from there you can tap on add a heading or you can add a sub heading you can choose whichever option you want after you have done that the page that i would recommend you go on is lyrics.com with lyrics.com you will be able to find the different song lyrics so you could type in artist's name or you could type in a part of the song that you remember and you will be able to search and find it so as i said earlier for this example we will be using keisha cole so all you'll need to do now once you're on this page you will simply close the advertisement then from there you can start copying the lyrics so you could copy the first line then tap on right click right here so you could right click it after you have done that you'll tap on copy then go back into canva once in canva you'll be able to paste the lyrics so let's do that real quick so we'll simply select the text box right here by simply double tapping then you'll simply paste your song lyrics so you'll paste your song lyrics right there and then you can edit the song lyric so for example, you could increase the font size by tapping on font size right here. So let's say we would like it to be 80. So you could do that. So let's increase the font size real quick. So we'll tap on it right here and select the entire text box. So after you have selected the text box, you'll be able to change the font size. So let me select the text box real quick. Then I'm going to change it to 80. So let's do that. You can also change the font style and so on. Now that you have done that, all you'll need to do now, you're going to simply tap on the text again, as you can see right there, the timing. So you'll be able to adjust the timing so you can move it right here. So you can choose where you would like it to appear. So you can do that right there. And you'll be able to do that with each line. And if you would like an even easier way to do this, all you'll need to do is tap on position in the top right hand corner right here. After you have tapped on position, you're going to see a pop up on the left hand corner and you'll simply tap on layers. Then from there, 
you will be able to see each line and you can move each line into the position that you want right here so you can move them as you can see here and after you have added all lines now let's say for example you would like to add some form of animation all you'll need to do now so let's say we would like to add an animation at the bottom of the video all we'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option I'm going to tap on elements then from there I'll tap on search and I'm going to add a audio wave so I'll tap on audio wave then after you have tapped on audio wave from here you can select right where you see graphics you could tap on see all then from there you can see the different audio wave options and let's say for example I like to use this one I'll simply tap on it and you can see how it looks right there you can see it in the background and you can adjust the size by simply pulling along right here so you can see right there I think it is a cool effect to add so you can see it right here I'll add it right here so now if I were to tap on play you can see it there and that's how it would look and this will continue for the entire timeline as you can see right here that is the audio you can see it there and it does look cool and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative once you're finished all you'll need to do is tap on share in the top right hand corner then scroll down tap on download and you'll now be able to download your karaoke style video thanks for watching hope you found this helpful if you did be sure to let me know in the comment section or if you have any questions you can also leave it in the comment section and i will try to get back to you